The following presentation will provide an overview of the Wisconsin Educator Effectiveness System. In addition, as advocates for our members, we will identify directions we can take to help support them in the implementation of the statewide initiative. The PI-34 and the PDP. Where we are today really began in 2004 with the advent of PI-34. With the use of the PDP for licensing, teachers for the first time were in control of their professional development and were able to link professional work directly to their students in classrooms. Between 2006 and 2009, state and federal funding for education continued to diminish. In 2010, the federal government offered states $4 billion in grant funding for educational programming through Race to the Top. From that point forward, there was a national movement to standardize curriculum, assessments, and evaluation tools that tied some part of educator evaluation to student outcome. CCSS, the Common Core State Standards, is an effort to improve and standardize educator practice. The state adopted the Common Core Standards in 2010-2011 for language arts and math. Wisconsin was not alone in this adoption. Many states have adopted the Common Core State Standards. The reason was simple. The Common Core State Standards aligns with the National Assessment of Educational Progress, SLD. Specific Learning Disabilities. By December 1, 2013, in order for students to qualify as having a specific learning disability under state and federal law, IEP teams must document progress monitoring of general education interventions. This intervention framework in general education is otherwise known as RTI and PBIS. Through documentation of a response to intervention, students will qualify for special education services for learning disabilities. Positive behavior intervention strategies are used to address behavioral issues in schools. These activities are practices, not policy. Wisconsin's answer to the race to the top and the no child left behind waiver linking teacher and principal evaluation tied to student achievement developed into what we now know as educator effectiveness. Linked to this program will be a statewide computer linked evaluation tool for students known as Smarter Balanced Assessment. This assessment system will replace the WKCE tests. In 2010, Wisconsin formed a collaborative educator design team. The team was made up of a variety of key stakeholders from different educational forums. WEAC had representation on that team. The design team developed a framework that included the following. System of continuous improvement, leads to student success, fair, valid, reliable process, multiple measures. From this framework grew a core set of guiding principles. An educator evaluation system must deliver information that guides effective educational practice that is aligned with student learning and development, documents evidence of effective educator practice, documents evidence of student learning, informs appropriate professional development, informs educator preparation programs, supports a full range of human resource decisions, is credible, valid, reliable, and comparable and uniform across districts. Work groups use these guiding principles as they crafted the educator practice and student performance components of the educator effectiveness program. Also consider that Act 166 in Wisconsin State Statute 115.415 now mandate that teachers and administrators in public schools, including charters, be evaluated. Teacher evaluation is split into two parts. 50% of teacher evaluation will be based on teacher practice, the art of teaching and teaching standards, and 50% will be based on student outcome, assessment measures from various sources. To qualify for Race to the Top and the No Child Left Behind waiver, the educator effectiveness system needed to focus not only on teacher practice but principal practice as well. DPI has chosen the Charlotte Danielson model for their educator effectiveness system. There are four domains in the Danielson model that are further broken down into multiple components. 
While Danielson's model has been adopted as the state's framework, equivalent models may also be approved by DPI. DPI also chose to use the Interstate School Leaders Licensure Consortium standards for principal practice. Within the 50% of the evaluation pie tied to student outcomes due to WEAC advocacy, evaluations will consist of multiple measures of student performance. Teachers will be required to write one or more student learning objectives. These objectives will be developed by the teacher and their district. They must meet the SMART criteria, which includes being specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. The number of student learning objectives required will be based on what state and district standardized tests are available and given in your specific district. A teacher will write one SLO if both state and district standardized assessment data are available. Two SLOs if either state or district assessment data are available but not both. Or three SLOs if neither state nor district assessment data are available. Writing an SLO is an opportunity for teachers to control a component being used in their evaluation. From guiding principles to educator practice, the DPI rolled out an educator effectiveness timeline that attempts to capture the guiding principles. Small pilot groups are currently underway and training for additional districts is planned for the spring and summer of 2013. Full implementation is planned for the 2014-2015 school year. Knowledge is power, so be sure you understand and control your own professional growth through the Professional Development Plan and Educator Effectiveness System. Be sure you understand how your compensation and working conditions are impacted by these changes. And if there are issues, be sure to contact your local leadership. Manage your knowledge. Know your part in these initiatives and know the role of the district as well. Ask questions such as, will your evaluator be properly trained and certified? How will you know what training is required? The core components of many initiatives overlap. Do not view them as separate silos. Think about how you can incorporate some new education concept under the Common Core State Standards into a SLO goal. When you assess for progress on the SLO goal, and certain students are falling behind, use the RTI framework to intervene with these students. Utilize goals you write and student performance data you collect for educator effectiveness work into your professional development plan for licensure renewal. Work smart. Know that DPI does not condone high stakes decisions based on this model. You can find these notices through DPI resources and presentations. What can you do from here? Work with your local to plan activities around educator effectiveness. Team up with colleagues to better understand the system. Write goals together. Plan your PDPs together. Let us know how your Uniserve and WEAC office can help. Remember, this is your opportunity to take charge of your profession.